All right, folks, I'm just going to do a bit of carving or piercing some of these small sort of candle holder pots. I'll just show you the tool I use. It's just simply a little uh, hacksaw blade sharpened up and it's really, really thin. So I don't draw any, any design on it. I just have two little guide marks there just to give, just to give me the height and then uh, we'll just go for it. So I'll just give you, to show you what I do. I'm just going to do this sort of shape for a start. Let's see what that yeah, it does work. So I'm just going to go all the way around with this shape and then fill in in a different shape from the top to fill in the holes. Once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy actually, and it's. Uh, Quite satisfying when you sort of design something and it all fits in. So, like I say, I'm not. Uh, there's no guide marks, so you just got to sort of just about when you're getting round to the other side, just gauge them so they do fit in. So I'm coming round to the other side now. And there's that sort of space there, so I'll do one in the middle of that. And hopefully it should fit. So that's the sort of that's the first slot done. So what I'm going to do in between now to form a really fine sort of leg is let's see where it can get a bit tricky. I'm going to do that shape. Let's do that all the way around too. Clay wants to be absolutely perfect, you know, it wants to be about leather hard. If it's too soft then you'll not cut the bits out, they'll just stick to the knife or stick to the clay. And obviously if it's too dry, it'll just crack and you'll not be able to cut them out either, so you get the idea once you've done a few what the ideal sort of clay hardness is. And if they're too wet just leave them a bit. If they do get a bit too dry, you can spray them with water and soften them up a bit. So I'll just come down to the last one again. So I don't want to mess it up now. You can see how fragile it is by the way it bends. So anyway, that's that. You put a candle in there, and the light shines through. I'll just do another one. I'll try a different design. I'll cut that off in a minute. What can we do now? Um, I'll do that sort of upside down. So we'll start off. Very nice start. I haven't done these for ages, months, so I've got about 50 to do, so once I get my eye in, we'll start getting better. You can do any design, just whatever takes your fancy, just cut, you can do triangles. Triangles are good because they do, uh, they fit together well. It's not one to do after you've had a lot to drink the night before when you've got the shakes, so... As you can see, once you get the hang of it, it's quite quick. Well, I've got to try and fit two into this bit now. Finish off the first row. So that's the first row done again. I'm just going to fill these in now. Just put a little sort of triangle in there. All the bits that you cut out in the bottom, just leave them to dry, and then they, once they're dried, you can take them out easier. 
because they might stick a bit now. You don't want to be messing about when it's soft. You can do this sort of stuff on rim on bowls, rims of bowls if you've if you can get them really thin, that's quite effective, but that is dead tricky because it's hard to get your hands in the right place to to cut them. So like I say, there's no rules to it, just do anything you like. As long as the clay is really thin, try and throw your pot as thinly as you possibly can, because if it's thick it won't work. So this is the last one, just a different design. So that's that one done too. So two different uh, the other one up. Two different designs there. Just on a dead simple pot. The pot's really simple to throw, there's nothing fancy about it. And I'll just cut out with a hacksaw blade and a bit of a steady hand. Give it a go, it's not that difficult. Might look complicated but it isn't honestly.